Hey folks, Paul here, and I've got a little bit of an update concerning Gekko Koju and the last days of the Third Age series that I run. Now, Gekko Koju, I heard that there's a big content patch coming out soon and it may require me to start over, so I was holding off until it released. Now, it was supposed to release last weekend, but it hasn't, so I'm trying to keep an eye on it. It's going to be any time now. So, as soon as that's released, I'll continue releasing videos, because I'm probably going to have to catch up a little bit to where I left off, so... Uh, my apologies for that, but I haven't abandoned the series. But, uh, yeah, I'd rather wait for the, the uh, patch to come out, rather than have to restart my... You know, continue the progress and having to restart, so... That's the reason for that. Now, concerning my last days of the Third Age series, Ranger... I've ran into the save game Corruption Bug and even the automatic backup is not enough to uh, fix the game so I'm kind of screwed in that department so I'm going to have to restart but if you follow any of the development for the last days of the third age there is a huge sort of bug fixing patch that's going to be coming out very soon and it's very similar to Gekko Koju. I'm unsure if I'm going to have to restart my game, you know, for the patch to take effect, you know, if it's going to be compatible or not. So I'm holding off before I start playing again until that's released. Now, as soon as it's released, I will catch up to where I've left off thereabouts. So you're not going to have to watch the whole beginning over again, but. Um, you may be saying, well, aren't you just going to run into the save game corruption bug once more? Chances are I may, but this is the thing. If you go to actions and change TLD options and gameplay tweaks and compatibility tweaks. So, I believe this is the option that is causing my save game to crash. Now people say it's because your computer is not good enough. I don't believe that for a second. I have a monster PC and this should not be an issue, but uh, there you go. So, what's recommended is to go here and lower it down. I've heard people have had it around 750 or 700 and not run into any problems, but when I start playing again, I'm going to go ahead and reduce this down to 600. So I should never crash again. I should never run into this bug. So if that ends up being the case, then we're, we're all set. I can continue on with the Ranger series with no problems. And I recommend that anyone who decides to play this on either Mountain Blade Warband or Mountain Blade, go to this option and reduce it now before you get too far. And even if you have an existing game, go ahead and reduce it because hopefully this will be the only thing that can prevent the save game corruption bug. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching this quick video. It was just letting you know what's going on. I didn't want to leave you all in the dark. But uh, hopefully I'll have some more news soon. Make sure you check out my blog at paulie.com where I'll probably post all the news first, or my Twitter. So, uh, thank you for watching, and fingers crossed.